Shalom Aleichem, blessed souls. Whether you be of the children of Israel, the blessed children of Noach, B'nai Noach, you've got the koach, you've got the potentiality to connect in a meaningful way with the Most High, in a pleasant, peaceful manner. This is Dhamma Talk from Ayri Heights, Crown Heights, and Chai, the 18th of Marchejwan. Live if you want to live. And if you want to live, try and give what you can of your heart because the Most High desires your heart and intentions to him and to help other blessed human souls. Just to remind the blessed souls, this is Bereshit in the beginning, part 8, and this week the Queen of Israel will be reading Bezal Hashem with the help of the Most High, this blessed coming Shabbat from Parshas Vayera, which is in the book of Genesis, starting from chapter 18, verse 1, Perich Chai, Posik Echad, and concluding on chapter 22, verses 24 in the book of Genesis, Perich Chav Beis, Posich Chav Dalet. We'll also be reading from the Blessed Haftorah this week, Blessed Souls from Melachim Beis, Perich Dalet, Posich Aleph Ad, Posich Lamed Zion, that is the book of Kings, part 2, chapter 4, verse 1, until chapter 37. We'll be learning about the Novi Elisha who was a, the, the outstanding student of Elio Anovi, Elijah the Prophet. Going back to a little uh, teaching from Sefer Azar, Blessed Souls, until we get back to the teaching of the Lubavitch Rebbe. Sefer Azar, the Book of Shining, the Book of Splendor, opening up the seven seals to usher in Arya Shel Yehuda, Lion of Judah, and Pleasant and peaceful way. So we're going on a verse here from Daf Tzadik Zayn Ahmed Aleph, page 97, first side of the folio, where there's a, a verse is brought from Shir Hashim, the Song of Songs, chapter 2, Perich Beis, Pasig Yud Beis, verse 12, and it goes like this, Hanitzonim Niro Ba'aret Ba'aretz Eid Hazamir Hagiyah Lokor Hator Nishma Artsenu. The righteous blossoms are seen in the land. The time of your song has arrived. The voice of your guide is heard in the land. And the Zohar comments in his blessed souls that in the beginning of creation, the earth was given all the potentiality that was fitting to the earth in order to be it would have the 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 potentiality and actualization, manifestation of its power to bring out trees and all different types of grasses and herbs. However, the Chola Hava Ba'ara, that everything was still, after being manifested through the speech of the Most High, it was still buried in the earth at the precipice, at the opening to the, the top of the earth, And the fruits were not in revelation at yet. Ad it bare Adam until there was created the original man by Yom Shishi on the sixth day of creation. And when Adam was created, they were already in potential, all the the powers and potentials to manifest the produce and the fruits to go out into the world. So when Adam made a tefillah, a prayer to the Most High, all the fruits and produce came into existence. A very powerful instruction for us, blessed souls, to remember our prayers do count and can bring out fruits and benefits not just to ourselves, but to others as well in a peaceful, pleasant manner. Going back to the teaching of the Rebbe from Tuf Shin, Yud Gimel, 57, 13, 1952. But the Rebbe talked about commenting on the first two verses of the Torah in Genesis 1, verses 1 and 2, that we have to understand the connection. We have to understand the connection between the spirit of Mashiach and the very first two words of the Torah. In the beginning, the Almighty created. Shemiyad b'tachilat ahit hagvut. That from the beginning, immediately, there was a creation. 
We medubar odat rucha shal mashiach. So by the first, second verse of the Torah, there is an allusion to rucha shal mashiach, the spirit of the Messiah, the Anointed One, who will lead not only the twelve tribes of Israel, but all of the inhabitants of the world, called boy olam, in gaining greater and ascending winners into the Most High. Or the havin kozeh, and to understand all this, yesh lehachdim. There is the preface, the chila, at the beginning of Yadua, that is known, the chlalut, but the totality said, the, the totality of the order of the chaining down of creation, all cause and effect relationships, in a chalak le gimah madrega da olam shano nefesh, that are divided up into three levels, which is, one level is called olam, which is world, the second level is called shana, is called year, and this third one is called nefesh, which is soul. That upon them is the foundation, the foundation of Sefer Yitzira, which some say this was a Sefer, a book that was written by Avram Avino Abraham, our father, who was known as Avamon, going father of many nations by the fact that his teachings have gone out to around the world, promoting the idea of Shalilet Avodah Zarah excluding oneself from idolatry. With that being said, blessed souls, we'll continue on this note. Just remember, in all cause and effect relationships in this blessed creation, the order of creation, you must have three general qualities. Olam, world, shana, time, the nefesh, and soul. So I hope that gives you something to meditate on today. Blessed souls, this is Dhamma concluding succinctly, Ahav echad, one love, babori echad, one creator. Bagor echad, in one destiny. Ba'ofen nitzkin, and turn away, badarchi noam, in a pleasant way, badarchi shalom, in a peaceful way. Lahamshich, to be continued.